Hi everyone, welcome to Concept in Medicine. In today's tutorial, we are going to be looking at a flea requirement in a Benz patient. How to calculate the flea requirement in a Benz patient. So for this, there are two methods. We have the Parkland formula, which is the most commonly used formula worldwide. And the second one is the Brooks formula. We're looking at both of them then after that we'll be using an example to uh, calculate the flu requirement pertaining to these methods of calculation. We'll be using an example to apply these formulas. Now let's start with the Parkland formula. So to get a Parkland formula for both uh, pediatric patient and adult, always know that this is going to be equivalent to four meals times the body weight times the total body surface area. And we, I believe you already know how to calculate the total body surface area using the rule of nine, the rule of nine. I believe we already know how to calculate the total body surface area using the Wallace rule of nine. And that will help you to calculate the total body surface of, the total body surface area of the skin involved in the bends, where the head will be 9%, the the anterior trunk will be 18%, the posterior will be 18%, the arm will be 9%, each arm will be 9%, uh, the legs, one will be full, will be 18%, the other one to 18%, and the genital will be 1%. I believe we can recollect that. That's what we call the Wallace rule of nine. And that is what is going to help you to calculate the total body surface area involved in the bend. So, the Parkland's formula, is calculated by using the formula four mils times the body weight times the total body surface area. And that will give you the fluid required for resuscitation in a Benz patient in the first 24 hours. Then the question goes, how do we give the fluid? You should remember that in the first 24 hours, you start calculating the time from the onset of the Benz, not from the time of admission. It's going to be from the time of the Benz. So the first eight hours from the time of the bends, you will give 50% of the total fluid volume that you've calculated using the Parkland formula. Why? Because in the first eight hours, plasma exudation is most rapid. So you have to give the fluid quickly to what? Replace the lost plasma. And which fluid are we going to use? Definitely we are going to use Ringer's lactate in this scenario, Ringer's lactate. All right, so the first eight hours of the first day, calculated from the time of the burn injury, not from the time of admission, you'll give 50% of the total fluid volume that you've calculated. Then the next 16 hours, you are going to give uh, the remainder 15% of the total fluid volume that you've calculated. Then on the second day, the second day, what are we supposed to do? We will give 50% of the total fluid volume requirement for the first day plus the daily fluid maintenance. And the daily fluid maintenance for those in the tropical areas is going to be a constant. That will be uh, two liters of 5% dextrose plus what? One liter of Ringer's lactate. Two liters of 5% dextrose plus one liter of Ringer's lactate, and that will give you three liters, okay? In addition to the 50% of the total fluid volume used for the first day. I believe we made sense out of that. That is for the Parkland formula. Now let's talk about the Brooks formula. For the Brooks formula is more uh, different in a way. So the Brooks formula takes into consideration colloids, crystalloids, and finally the daily fluid maintenance. So for the colloids, how do you get the volume? It's going to be 0.5 mils times the body weight times the total body surface area involved in the bends. Why uh, that small amount if you would have to use it? Because colloids are believed to easily leak out of the damaged capillaries in bends. That is why the volume is what? Lesser. So you have 0.5 mils times the body weight times the total body surface area. Then in addition to that, volume of crystalloids to be calculated will be equal to 1.5 mils times 
the body weight times the total body surface area. And you should bear in mind, for the Brooks formula in children, instead of 1.5 mils, you would use 3 mils. Then when you finish calculating this, in addition to these two, you would use, you add onto it the daily fluid maintenance, which is constant in the, for the tropics and the temperate. We are in the tropics. Or if you are in the tropics, then the daily fluid maintenance will be equal to 1 liter of ringers lactate plus 2 liters of 5% dextrose. And that will give you 3 liters in all. You add that to what you calculated for the colloid and crystalloids. And that's what you are going to be giving in the first 24 hours from the time of the burn injury. But bear in mind, in the first 24 hours, first 8 hours, especially 24 hours, a lot of capillaries are damaged in the bends, and giving colloids would easily leak out of what these damaged capillaries, unlike the crystalloids. So, everything that I've calculated, every volume that I've calculated, will be converted to what crystalloids will be given as crystalloids. And if you are giving everything as crystalloids, we'll call that what the modified Brooks. Then somebody will ask, So, what are we going to be giving as the colloids? So, for the colloids. Uh, dextran 110 is given the woman plasma uh, protein fraction is also used and blood may also be used and for the crystalloids normal saline uh, five percent dextrose ringers like it are used now when you finish calculating all this with this you have a plus b plus c and everything is converted into crystal everything is given as crystalloids that's what we call modified brooks how do we get the fluid the first eight hours, similar to the Parkland's formula, you will give 50% of the total fluid volume. That will be the A plus B plus C, 50% of that. Then the next 16 hours, the remainder, 50%. That is what you are going to give. And on the second day, how do we go about it? On the second day, you are going to give 50%, that is half, of the A plus B volume. If you add the A plus B, half of it, then plus the daily fluid maintenance, which is going to be one liter ringers lactate and two liter five percent dextrose let's have a look at these two formulas again all right let's have a look at this example where we are going to be applying both the parkland formula and the brooks formula to get our solution let's have a look at this question the question goes, a 40-year-old male suffered bends of his both legs in an RTA, that's road traffic accident. On arrival at the accident and emergency center, the extent of his bend was estimated at 30% of his total body surface area. What would be the total flu requirement in the first 24 hours of his injury, given his weight as 60 kilograms? You have about two minutes to finish work as we wait to look at the real solution all right so let's have a look at the solution here in the question we are more interested in some parameters so using the parkland formula we know that the parkland formula will be four mils times the body weight times what the total body surface area so we are looking at the body weight is giving the question as 60 kilogram total body surface area 30 percent so in this case our formula will be 4 mils times the 60 times the 30. The 30% 30 you don't divide by 100. Don't divide, you leave it like that. So if you do the calculation, it will give you 7,200 mils. And if you convert this into liters, it will be 7.2 liters. And how do we give the fluid? Even though it's not, given, it's not asked in the question, you should know that 50% should be given in the first eight hours from the time of the injury and another 50% that's the remainder given in the next 16 hours and we said the 50% has to go in the first 8 hours because plasma exudation is most rapid within the first 8 hours of a burn injury. So if you do the calculation you have 3.6 liters in first 8 hours and another 3.6 liters in next 16 hours that will be the remainder 16 hours. That is using the Parkland formula. What about using the modified Brooks uh, formula? For the modified, modified Brooks we know that we are supposed to calculate the colloid the crystalloid and then the daily fluid maintenance. The colloid, how do we calculate it? 0.5 mils times the body weight times the total body surface area. And that will give us 900 mils. Crystalloid, what do we have? 1.5 mils times the body weight, which is 60, times the total body surface area, which is 30. And that will give us 2,700 mils. Then the daily fluid maintenance, we said in the tropics, depending on where you find yourself, in our environment, we are in the tropics. 
some environment to be temperate. If it's tropics, it's going to be one liter ringus lactate plus two liter five percent dextrose, and we know. Well, the temperate is going to be two liters, five percent dextrose, but we are in the tropics, so it will give us one liter ringus lactate plus two liters, five percent dextrose, and that should give us three liters. So if you add A plus B plus C, that should give us 900 plus 2,700 plus 3,000 because 3 liters is equivalent to 3,000 mils. And the total should give us 6,600 milliliters. And if you convert that to liters, it will give us 6.6 .6 liters. And how is it given? 3.3 liters in the first eight hours from the time of the injury and the remainder 3.3 liters in the next 16 hours. One thing that you should know here is that in some questions they might omit the body weight that is fine you should know that in an african patient the average body weight is estimated to be 60 kg and an european 70 kg so take note of that in case the body weight is not given you have to what, use those approximations i believe we made a lot of sense out of this take note that in some cases of mcqs you would want to use both formulas to choose the answer that is closest uh, an OSCE or a written exams, as I already said, the Parkland's formula is the most commonly used formula. So you want to go by that. I trust that we have made a concrete and solid understanding about fluid requirement calculation in a Benz patient. Kindly make sure to subscribe, share, like, and also comment the next concept you would like to see in my next video. My name is Dr. Dell, and this is Concept in Medicine. See you another time, and it's a bye for now.